you might think that dietary insufficiency is not a problem for you, but statistically you're wrong. There are four essential nutrients for which 90% or more of Americans don't get enough of from their diet and 10 essential nutrients for which half or more of Americans don't get enough of from their diet. Plus there's the full range of technically non-essential yet super important for our health nutrients like fiber and polyphenols, which are not included in these statistics. So statistically, chances are really good there's at least one essential nutrient you're not getting enough of. Why is that important? Nutrients are raw materials. They are what goes into all of the chemical reactions of life. And every biological system in our bodies, immune system, cardiovascular system, muscular system, gastrointestinal system, uh, neurological system, has a collection of nutrient resources that it needs to do its job properly. And if you don't provide our biological systems with the nutrients that they need, that puts strain on the system over time, wear and tear. It's like driving a car with plenty of gas. We've given the, the system calories, but no oil or brake fluid. It might be fine for a while. Nutrient insufficiencies don't typically have symptoms or vague symptoms that are really easy to dismiss like fatigue, headaches, malaise, joint pain, or just like reduced resilience to stress. But there's only so long we can drive the car without oil and brake fluid or drive the body without vitamins and minerals. Now it's not like a disease of malnutrition caused by deficiency of an essential nutrient, like scurvy or iron deficiency anemia. When we're insufficient, we're above the level needed to prevent the wheels falling off the cart, car. I guess we're sticking with the car analogy, even though the idiom is cart. Instead, dietary insufficiency interacts with other factors, lifestyle, health-related behaviors like whether or not we smoke or drink, genetics, environmental exposures, social determinants of health, and collectively they increase the risk of health problems. That means two things. First is that nutrition is a clear point of intervention. Second, that it's not a guarantee. You can take the absolute best care of your car and it still might break down sometime or get into an accident, but it's less likely to break down, which is why it's worthwhile taking care of it. And the nutritional equivalent of that is Nutrivore. Get it, a carnivore eats meat and an herbivore eats plants and Nutrivore eats nutrients. Nutrivore is a dietary philosophy centered on the goal of getting all of the nutrients our bodies need from the foods we eat and doing so sustainably, which means disengaging with diet mentality and restriction. If you want to jump in with both feet, I recommend my book Nutrivore. Everything you need is in there. If you just want to dip your toes, follow me. I share lots of digestible information. See what I did there? about what nutrients do in the body, what foods supply what nutrients, and the eating patterns that help ensure we get the full range of nutrients our bodies need.